I just wanted to give you some tips in case you are given a problem where the time is not given to you in years. It is super, super important that your calculations has your time in years. Super important. Without that, it will mess up your calculations and your final answer. So if time is not given to you in terms of years, you have to turn it into years. So I did put over here on the side just a couple of common conversions in case you weren't aware of those. Um, you know, months, days, quarters, weeks, those are going to be the most common time periods that you're going to see and how many of those are equal to one year. So let's look at a couple of examples. If we are given time in terms of 16 months, what would that look like for years? And so I'm going to use the fact that 12 months is equal to one year. And so for my calculations, I'm going to do my total amount of time, 16 that I'm given, and I'm going to divide it by the 12 months in a year. Now you absolutely 100% can keep it like this. You don't need to do anything else with it. If you were to divide this, you're gonna get a repeating decimal of 1.333 years, um, which is accurate, but it's not as precise as keeping it as a fraction. You could even reduce the fraction if you wanted to. You could reduce it to four thirds, but if you are not confident in your ability to reduce fractions, then you can keep it as um, 16 twelfths years and keep that um, for your calculations as well. For um, 270 days, we're going to use the conversion of 365 days in one year. And so if I'm given 270 days, and I'm going to divide it by the total number of days in a year, again, I can keep my final answer as 270 over 365. If I was to divide that out, I'm gonna get a really messy um, decimal, 0.739726, so on and so forth. Um, you can um, reduce this if you want, or even better, you can just keep this as 270 over 365 years. That's fine too. For our next one, six quarters. I'm going to use the fact that there are four quarters in one year. And so for this one, I am given six quarters. I'm going to divide it out by the number of quarters in a year. And so I can keep it as six fourths of a year. This one is not as bad as a decimal. This one would be 1.5 as a decimal. So not as bad. Those repeating decimals, um, you want to try to avoid those because it does make your answer just a little bit less precise and less accurate. Um, and then 39 weeks, I'm going to use the fact that there are 52 weeks in one year. And so if I have 39 weeks out of the 52 in a year, um, again, you can keep it as 39 over 52 years, or you could say this one is not a repeating decimal. This is 0.75 of a year. So you could use 0.75 for that one. But like I said before, if you do have repeating decimals, you want to try to avoid them. And using the fractions, even the non-simplified fractions, work 100% of the time and are 100% accurate in your calculations as well.